My favorite surgery to scrub on, and that would be an abdominal hysterectomy. But the reason why I love it so much is because of the anatomy. You can see everything so crystal clear. You're like right in there. You bring your mayo stand in, and then the surgeon asks for a scalpel, which is always a 10 blade. I give him a 10 blade, which is probably the biggest scalpel that there is for this surgery. Then they make an incision along your bikini line. There's different types of incisions they can make, but that's probably the most common is the bikini line incision. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna go through layers and layers and layers until they get to the uterus. Um, so the first layer is the skin. The second layer would be like the fatty tissue. Then they're going to, they're gonna, once they get to the fatty, they're gonna dissect, 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 and then they're gonna get to the muscle layer. And then they're gonna cut through the muscle layer or they're gonna bovi, and a bovi is an electrical cautery unit which goes through uh, tissue and it uh, stops bleeding. Then once they get through the muscle layer, then they are going to enter the peritoneum. And then once they get to the peritoneum, they're gonna start packing the bowel um, with laps. Laps are um, sponges that absorb blood and fluid. So they're gonna pack you. They're gonna pack your la laps so that they can move the bowels out of the way. Because if you don't move the bowels, they're gonna be in the way of the case. They're not gonna be able to see anything. So they always pack the abdomen. So we always count how many laps are in. I got five laps in. So we always just know how many laps we have in the belly because we definitely don't wanna leave anything behind, right? That's why we count. Same with instruments. Because we don't wanna leave instruments inside the belly. So once we've gone through all of the layers, the surgeons have gone through all of the layers and they have exposed and they've packed the bowel and now they have beautiful exposure to the uterus and it's like game time and it's finding the round ligaments, broad ligaments, also finding where are the ureters? Do they know where the ureters are? They don't want to cut the ureters because that would be a big no-no and that would be a whole nother case. So anyways, they always make sure that they watch out for the ureters and then they start dissecting away and they clamp, clamp, cut the broad and the round ligaments on both sides and uh, just keep dissecting and we cauterize for bleeders as the case moves on and uh, that's just it, clamp, clamp, cut and uh, sometimes they take the cervix, sometimes they don't take the cervix. That's about it, but it's a great case. I love it, it's my favorite case, and the anatomy is great.